Oh, hey guys. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Rival NHL channel. Here on today's video, we do have some new primetime cards to go over. On top of that, Timo Meyer got a 90 overall. The guy had five goals against the LA Kings yesterday, so deservingly so gets a 90. I think he should have gotten like a 92, 93. Five goals is a lot. Slide to the right, we got some more stars of the month cards. I personally just haven't had a whole lot of interest in these cards, but they're 92 overall, so they look pretty damn good. We slide to the right. We have some double primetime packs in the store. There's only 3,500 of them. How many are left? 1,460. 12% 12 chance at an 86 or better. I wish the percentages were a little better, but 12% ain't. Guess it ain't too terrible. Now, I do want to take a look at a couple of these primetime cards. 90 overall hurdle now. Timo Meyer was the star of that game, scoring five goals. However, Hurdle had four assists in that game, so he gets a 90 overall primetime card, and he has Spark and Workhorse, so if you need a boost to your acceleration, you can do that with either. Also, you can get a strength boost, so his strength could be up to a 97, acceleration 91. 6'2", 215 pounds, he's going to be really strong with the puck, and he has a really good shot. Now, the other 90 overall, San Jose Shark, the star of that game with five goals, Timo Meyer, six feet tall, 210 pounds. He will have spark and workhorse as well. And then I'd love to see that he also has distributor. So you can get that speed up to a 90. Same thing with acceleration. And then his strength can go up to a 97. Timo Meyer has Shakana for four ability points and then born leader. I'm not a big fan of born leader, especially with it being two ability points, but that's what they gave him. We take a look at this 89 overall Pedersen. We'll also take a look at his X-Factor in one moment. I do like how Pedersen plays in this game. I think he's a, a decent card to look at. 6'2", 176 pounds. He has Thief and Gladiator. Now, if you're going to play this card at the center position, absolutely. You need to have Thief active to get his face-off rating up. And then Heart and Soul can give you another 3 to boost his face-off even a little more. Superstar abilities, Elite Edges, and Tape. To tape. Now we take a quick look at the Pedersen X Factor. Slide over here, 89 overall, so he goes from an 88 to an 89. And there is no acceleration or speed boost this time around. We got that last time. So once he gets a 90 overall, his speed and acceleration will go up to a 90. And also with this, at the tier 12, he does unlock Protector. Now Dylan Larkin gets a card because he had two goals in yesterday's game. He was a, a pure superstar, guys. He tied it up, and then he went ahead and won it in overtime. Quick look at the card. I like Dylan Larkin cards in this game a lot because he's got really good acceleration, really good speed. Four synergies, light the lamp. Big fan of light the lamp, and he also has Thief. He is a center, and I do recommend you to throw him out on the wing. However, if you don't, you do have Thief here to put his face off up to an 86, which is actually okay. Now, the last primetime card to take a look at is actually in the National League collection go over to Lakers I'm blind I skipped them and we have an 89 overall Roman Cervenka to take a look at Gladiator booming shot really like both synergies drop that webcam so you can see everything here he also has Thief on top of that so again a guy who does have a low face off rating probably better off on the wing but if he is at the center spot you could throw Thief on him get a little boost do his face off rating or if you don't want thief he also has gladiator you can pair that up with booming shot now booming shot will boost him up to a 93 strength which i do like a decent looking card here. all right guys so we went over some of the new prime time some of the new cards let's go take a look at hot rush and take a look at the rewards we viewed these on stream a couple hours ago we were not thrilled we were not thrilled with uh the rewards but let me know what you guys think in that comment section now i'm still gonna try and grind this out Make a video for you guys to open up all of these reward packs in one video. But we go through here and check out, like, the seasonal collectibles. Uh, we actually get a decent amount. I think it's 12, but I'll correct myself if I'm wrong in just a moment. Take a look at event collectibles. We get one at 500,000. Keep going. Keep going. We get two more at 1.5. So we're at three total style icon collectibles. And that is it. They're only going to give us three. At 2.5 million, we do get a game day pack. No power-up collectibles. Um, but we are, my bad, we are getting a decent amount of seasonal collectibles. So let's count those. We get four, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 
And there is number 12. I believe that's it. So 12 seasonals, that's pretty good. I do highly recommend you guys to grind it out because you're getting free gold players in which you can exchange for whatever you want. And you're getting free seasonal collectibles. And to get the most points, play online. I think that's easiest. All right, guys, we have to end the video with a pack and a quick team update. So let's open up this elite players pack. 10 items, all gold players with at least 8, 80 or better overall players. So let's do it. It is untradeable. So if we do get anything, it's not like we can go ahead and sell, but we can't throw it in collectibles or whatever. We want purple 89 Pedersen. Hello. We just went over the card. I was telling you guys how I do like Pedersen in this game. So we see an 89 here. I'm happy. Now I do like the card. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think he's going to make our team. Again, we're going to go over the team in just a moment. Is this a double primetime pack? You see two prime times. That's kind of funny. Maybe get one more. You never know, guys. Last and final card, 82 Ryan Ellis. So we see a couple 82s and an 89 overall Patterson. That's a big time pack, baby. Let's take a quick look at the team here. Solani, Matty Douche, and Miko Ranton and on the line one. Guys, one more goal for Matt Duchesne in real life, and he becomes a 99 overall in Hockey Ultimate Team, making him the first 99. Hopefully, he can get that soon. Take a look at our line two. Ovi, Gretzky, Kaprizov. Our line three, McKinnon, Dreisaitl, McDavid now. Tomorrow, we will be getting five Hut Champion collectibles in which we could trade in for an Ultimate Choice Pack. Or what I really want to do, I just don't know if it's in me to do this. Is it in me to trade it in for an Ultimate Choice Pack? Absolutely. But to trade them in for Power Up collectibles, the Power Up my Connor McDavid to the 88. I don't think it's in me, man. But I'm going to try and do the right thing tomorrow and get him to the 88 because he goes up to a 94 speed and it would just make my team that much better. Go up to line four, Panarin, Sagan, and Patrick Kane. We will be trading in that 89 Pedersen for some of these collectibles. So, hey, maybe we power him up to the 90. We'll see what we do. And the set we are throwing that Pedersen in is this one right here. You trade in... 188 or better overall and in return you get six event collectible pack and with those six i think we're gonna go to our line four and this 89 overall tyler sagan we can put him up to a 90 which is really big because his acceleration and speed both go up one that's huge and we will exchange those six one two three four five six whoa we have more than i thought so there you guys have it, 90 overall, Tyler Sagan, his 94 looks sick, I'm not guaranteeing we're going to get him that high, but if we do, that is going to be nasty. Flip over to the defense, team of the year, line one between Fox and Hedman, McCarr, Brandstrom, line two, and our line three, we do have a tradable Morgan Riley in which I'm really tempted, really, really tempted to sell him, Maple Leaf fans don't hate me, if I do it, don't hate me, flip over to the goalie this guy jake ottinger is the man booming shot distributor spark magician light the lamp thief bombarded all active on our team i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to smash that thumbs up always helps me out with that youtube algorithm when you guys are smashing that thumbs up smashing that like button subscribe if you're new drop that comment below and i'll see you guys in tonight's video we're double uploading raising canes later peace out